Hello, my beautiful MK Love fam, and welcome back to another episode. Thank you so much for joining me for another Law of Attraction episode. Today, we're going to be focusing on manifestation challenges. So before I get started, my name is Melanie Kate Love. So if you're new to the channel, I make videos every Wednesday and Sunday teaching you how to learn to love yourself, flaws and all, trust your intuition, and to manifest your heart's true desires. So if you want to join the fam, hit that red subscribe button and turn on the little bell so you're notified every single time I upload. So today's question is inspired by the beautiful 08 Azzy on Instagram. Now she's talking about manifesting manifestation challenges in terms of finding her ideal partner. Now she said that she had manifested some qualities in different people, like multiple guys, but she couldn't find them all in one. And my biggest tip for that, if you cannot manifest exactly what you want, the first thing is that you actually need to be a vibrational match for that. For instance, if you're looking for someone who is an amazing communicator, is vegan, who is spiritual, um, is in tune with mother nature, um, I don't know, what else is there? It's just a truly beautiful person and so kind and considerate and empathetic and, and all of that delicious goodness. If you are not that person yourself, then you are not going to manifest that. It's like you are who you attract. So you need to be that person in order to manifest it. Think about this. If you were in a toxic environment, either emotionally, verbally, physically, or mentally abused in a relationship, then on some level, this is gonna hit some of you really, really hard, This. There must be something that is going on internally that maybe you're not aware of that you have attracted that person. For instance, when I was in that place about a decade ago, I was not in a good place. Why? Okay. So why was I attracting such an emotionally abusive person? Okay. What happened to me when I was a child? What did I see modeled around me that was considered okay or to be considered normal? Because those experiences then become ingrained on your subconscious and then you don't have like that self-esteem. Um, you don't love yourself. You don't make all your choices and decisions from a place of love. Normally they come from fear or scarcity. Or maybe you thought they came from love, but then upon reflection, you're like, oh, um, well, that was the case for me. And I had to learn how to love myself, how to, I had to love myself first, which, you know, that, that was a very long journey. And it took me, I would say like seven, well, I'm, I'm constantly learning to love myself in different ways, but I think the majority of it was over seven years. I didn't have a coach and I wish I did because I didn't really know what I was doing. I was kind of doing little things along the way. So it took me like seven years to unconsciously learn to love myself. And during that time, the relationships that I attracted were a vibrational match to where I was. For example, I was in that low vibrational, emotionally abusive relationship that was a four year relationship that ended. And then I manifested um, someone who was a lot older, which if you've done, if you've read that book, um, Father Therapy from Doreen Virtue, you would realize if you are um, attracting or you are drawn to older men, this gentleman was 14 years older than me, and it stems from issues relating to trauma from your father. Um, and then that was an on and off, a year and a half toxic relationship. And then after that, there was a big gap and I met someone when I was working on a cruise ship and that gentleman, gentleman, I don't know if that's the right term. He was lovely. He was the first person that treated me like a queen, treated me so well, but we weren't a vibrational match. But I got to a point where I was like, oh my gosh, he's so lovely. And in that time from when I had the older gentleman relationship to someone who was really, really lovely, I was like, what happened in that time? Oh, I spent a lot of time learning to love myself. And then after that, I don't know what the gap was, but it was like I did like a little jump because I did a little bit of work on myself. Then I did more work on myself. Oh, I met somebody else. Then I met somebody else. I'm like, oh my gosh, he's so lovely. Actually, he was a bit of a step. And then when I met my now fiance, he's like off the scale. Like he is delicious and beautiful and lovely and considerate and kind and generous and empathetic and just beautiful in every possible way. 
And I got to a point where I had learnt to love myself. I became a vibrational match for exactly what I wanted, how I wanted to be treated. And you need to be in alignment with that. How do you get what you want? Self love. Why do you think I created this free self love starter kit where I literally teach you three strategies on how to raise your vibration, how to make yourself feel good? Why do you think every time I get on camera, I say like, I love you. You're amazing. You're incredible. You can manifest anything you want into reality. You have to visualize it and it'll manifest into reality. Why do you think I got like that? I got like that because I know how it feels to be treated like a piece of shit. I know how it feels to be in the midst of a, um, arguments and turmoil and crisis situations to be quite frank in those situations and what you need to do to get yourself out of that so you don't vibrationally attract those things into your life so that's a big way of saying you need to be a vibrational match the other thing is sometimes you need to fine-tune your list because sometimes you say, you write down what you want, you manifest it into your reality, but it's not what you want. And instead of saying like, oh, why isn't it working? It's like, okay, if, for instance, as he said that she manifested these qualities in different people, maybe she needs to fine tune exactly what she wants because you have to be very careful about what you, what you ask for. It's like that Pussycat doll song. Be careful what you wish for because you might just get it. You know, you really do. Um, you need to be so specific in exactly what you want. So I hope that helps you. Be a vibrational match. Know that everything is working out for you and that as you manifest these qualities, it's a stepping stone. Doesn't Duffy have a song called Stepping Stone? Oh, no, that's a negative song. That's a breakup song. We won't sing that today. Um, yeah, and be super clear about exactly what you want. And just know that, you know, manifesting challenges, I don't see them as a challenges. I see them as an opportunity for you to bloom, to grow, to course correct, work out what you need to do. It's like, you can't get it wrong, you know? Everything that I've been through, I am so grateful. I am so grateful for being in that four year emotionally abusive relationship. I am so grateful. I'm so grateful for the relationship that my mum and dad had because it taught me what not to do. It taught me the importance of communication because they didn't have it. It taught me the importance of self love because I saw what it has done to my dad and my mum for not loving who they are, flaws and all. They taught me the importance of releasing blockages because I've seen decades of people holding blockages, still holding on to blockages that have ripped fam a family apart. And it's so important. It, it literally all boils down to self-love. If you're making choices from a place of love, you are affirming to the universe, I am fabulous, I am wonderful, I am creative, I am unique. I am manifesting avalanches of abundance into my life. And they're gonna be coming to me in expected and unexpected ways. That is exactly what's going to happen for you. Surrender to the process and everything will work out. I don't know what is making noise over here. Maybe my angels are saying, hurry up, hurry up. <laughs> Did you guys hear that? That was weird. Anyways, my love, thank you so much for watching. I hope this has helped, Azzy in particular for you. Thank you so much for writing in. I truly appreciate you. If you have any manifestation challenges that you're struggling with, comment below and I'd love to make a video to help you because I'm sure there's lots of other beautiful MK Love fam maybe struggling with the same things. But if you would love some extra guidance, please book yourself a private angel reading because I would love to help you out. I've read for two New York Times best-selling authors. I've got the most beautiful reviews on my website website melaniekatelove.com so if this is something that you're interested in i would love to help you out anyways my loves have an amazing day wherever you are in the world and just know that everything that you're going through you are a vibrational match too start loving yourself like honestly really loving yourself download my free self-love starter kit it's totally gonna help you out and i wish you all the love and success and avalanches of abundance and just know everything's working out for you. All right, I love you, and I will see you on Sunday for another weekly angel guidance. Goodbye.